Oh, there's a bike right there. Gosh, guys. <laughs> oh, God. Megan. What's up, everybody? Derek here. And today we are down at the river, as you see right behind me, and we are going to go crappie fishing. I didn't even mean to go fishing today, but. You know, I was thinking it was gonna be one of those 30 degree mornings, but I'm literally out here sweating in a short sleeve. It's 60 degrees, it's supposed to be like 65 today. And anytime it's like that here in Texas, yeah, you better bet I'm going fishing because it is gonna be on. But I brought jigs, got the kayak, and we're gonna go out here and see if we can catch a wall hanger. Cause I was thinking to myself, you know what? That sounds like a whole lot of fun. So. Let's go right over here to these bridge pilings and see if we can jig us up a big old 15 inch or maybe. So let's get to fishing. All right, we are ready to get out here. Oh, this river looks awesome right now. And I am basically going to slip right in between right there on those pilings and sit right down in the middle. It's just a little bit of current moving today. And I've got my rod set up. I've got uh, a minnow type jig head, which is like on a 1 ounce jig up above. And then I've got electric chicken down below and then like a neon yellow right there. So see which one might catch us the most and we might have to switch up, but I am gonna guess that these things are gonna hit. I don't know. Ooh, this looks nice today. Just kind of ease in here and be quiet. Just kind of bounce around in here, maybe like ping pong. Oh, there's a bite right there. Crappie. <laughs> Stay in here. Oh, it hit the minnow. It hit the minnow jig. Nice. Now that's a keeper. Yeah, and me all hurrying, I had to make uh, this kind of this kind of my rig in here. I had to rig up out of an electrical cord and a carabiner. Yeah, a stringer. So this is how we're gonna be stringing these up. I gotta poke a little hole through and run this electrical cord or cable, whatever, wire through here. And that's how we're gonna be keeping our crappie on here today. All the way down. Three reel ups. So we're just kind of resetting. I'm just barely popping it. If they, oh, there's another one right there. Oh, it's a black stripe crappie. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Oh, that's a keeper too. That is a good looking crappie, dang. All right, you going on there, buddy. Oh, you're pretty. Let it sit, one came and popped it. I need to do that again. Put it down there. Let it sit. Give it a pop. Give it another pop. And then they hit it. Oh God, it's a big one. Yeah, yeah, they're hitting that minnow. They're hitting that minnow. They ain't even paying attention to one down there. Electric chicken. Nice. I might have to double minnow it. This is a little panfish assassin. Usually I got my Bobby Garlands, but I ran out of the house. I don't have the right stringer. I left my backpack inside of the house and left. I can't believe I did that, but I always got a crappie box with me. So I'm improvising today. 
homemade electrical wire stringer and some of my creek stuff. So those are panfish assassins. And then it hits bottom. One, two, three. I'm getting a hit right there. I was getting a hit on that one. I'm not even doing nothing. It's just sitting there. Yep. Oh, man. Something's popping it. If that wind's going to push us, we could just sit right here. It's pushing us that way anyways. Well, I came back up to this upper piling and I found some rope to tie off because that wind's coming this direction. And I can basically just sit right here, put this one on the side, not even have to try to jig it. And this kayak will kind of jig it on its own. Hopefully we'll catch some. I got two of the panfish assassins on there now. So we'll see if that works. All the way to the bottom. Pull it tight. One, two, three. Just like that. Leave it sitting there. Oh, got one right there. Got one. Float. Just drifting backwards. Yeah. On the minnow. Dang. That was a drought. Man, I went a long time without catching one. Long time. Maybe they moved. More towards the middle of this thing. I don't know. Got one right there. Popped it one time. He came up and nailed it. Come here. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Look at the size of that one. Oh, and he came off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. My jig broke off in his mouth and then he popped the jig out. That is a big in. Dang. All right. I know that's a keeper, but let's see. All right, let's see. Right there, there's 16, 15. That's a 14 and a half incher right there. Yeah, definitely a 14 and a half incher right there. Almost a 15. But God, look at the back on that thing. That is awesome. <laughs> one right there be a big one what oh, that's a big one all right big cichlid god these things god it's a big cichlid not a crappie Ugh. jigs out dropped them down and we caught several right off the bat and minnows probably would have caught us more but I wanted to catch some on jigs and the wind is blowing me all over the place today it, it picked up and once that wind picked up I noticed 
that we kind of lost our bite there. And um, it's a north wind, and a north wind is not good for fishing, but we did catch some good ones. We got that one big white right there, but the rest of these are pretty much all blacks. And we do have one racing stripe crappie that is right there. Those are so cool to look at. But anyways, guys, gosh, that wind just all over the place. I love coming to this bridge. And then when it's short sleeve weather like this, even though that wind is just a little bit chilly, it's still nice to get out and go fishing. But thanks for watching, you guys. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.